Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to create a store procedure in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can create a store procedure in SQL Server. So what is a store procedure and what are the benefits of creating the store procedures? A store procedure is a set of SQL statements. Those can be saved as a single unit at database side. So you can create new tables inside a store procedure or you can run insert, delete or update queries to SQL server tables as well and of course you can select the data as well from the one or more SQL tables. And you can also call another store procedure or function from within the store procedure. So what are the benefits of using the store procedures? The first benefit is less network traffic. So if you are using the SQL queries to pull the data from SQL server tables or doing some insert, delete or update thing as well then you would need to send all the queries over the network from client app to the database. So this takes more traffic and also there are chances of the SQL injection or your queries can also be read by the hackers. Thus if you can create a store procedure on the database site and can write all the code there then it will be safe. Then your client app only need to send the store procedure name and optionally the parameters if there are any input or output parameters to the store procedure. The second benefit is code reusability. So if you can write a store procedure then there are chances the same type of requirement you might have in another project as well. Thus you can copy and paste the code from your old procedure to the new procedure and create the new procedure from it. The third benefit is security. So store procedures are secure as your database administrator can give the permissions to only the required people and only those people will be able to access the store procedures. The fourth benefit is easy to maintain. Store procedures are easy to maintain. Suppose you need to change some logic in the store procedure, then you can just change the code in the procedure. And in case if you did not have a store procedure and your SQL code is written in the application, then you will need to change the code in the application and then rebuild the application and deploy it again. So it's easy to change the SQL queries in the store procedure. So now let's see how we can create a store procedure. In my SQL Server 2019 instance, I have downloaded and restored Adventure Works 2019 database. It's the sample database from Microsoft and you can freely download it and you can restore it to your SQL Server 2019 instance as well. I have already created a video like how to download the Adventure Works 2019 database from Microsoft site and how to restore it to SQL Server 2019 instance. I will share the link in the description of the video so that you can download it and restore to your SQL Server 2019 database if you don't have the Adventure Works 2019 database on your machine. In the Adventure Works 2019 database, we have different tables from different schemas like human resource schema, person schema, and then we have production schema, sales schema. Okay. In this particular demo, I will use the two tables human resources.employee table and person.person .person table. So these two tables will be used here. So let me select the top four records from these two tables. So these contain data for different employees like employees job title, their birth date and then employee first name, middle name, last name. Okay and we have the business entity ID as a primary key in both the tables. So we can do a join on the business entity ID and maybe we can select like person's first name, middle name, last name and job title and maybe birth date from these two tables and then we can create a store procedure over it like instead of writing a SQL query and sending over the network we can just create a store procedure and then we will see how we can call the store procedure then okay let me just write a select query first of all so I can write select a dot star from human resources dot employee and I will alias the table as a inner join the second table person dot address and I will alias it as B on a dot business entity ID equal to B dot business entity ID okay and now I will select B dot first name comma B dot middle name comma B dot last name okay and then I will select a dot job title and a dot birth date these columns I will select and if I execute the query now, so it will select 290 records from both the tables and we got person's first name, middle name, last name, job title and the birth date. It returned 290 records because there might be just 290 records in the 
employee table so i can run a count start query here so you can see that 290 records are there so that's why it returned 290 records okay now let me just try to create a store procedure for this particular query so how we can write the store procedure to create a store procedure we need to write create proc either we can write proc or we can write procedure it's up to you and the store procedure name so i will call my store procedure as sp underscore get employee data as and then i will write a begin and end keywords okay now inside the begin and end keywords i need to write my sql query so you can write multiple sql queries here like maybe you can create the table delete data from the table truncate table you can write anything you can call another store procedure so in this particular store procedure you just provided the name of the store procedure as and then between the begin and end you have written your sql query so now you can execute this particular query so you can see that command completed successfully and a store procedure with the name sp underscore get employee data should have been created and if you want to check the store procedure then you can expand the programmability expand the procedures and then you can see sp underscore get employee data store procedure here if you want to see the queries in the store procedure then you can right click on the store procedure go to script store procedure as and you can click on create to new query edit window so here it will generate the create procedure script okay and for example if you want to modify the store procedure then you can right click on it and click on modify then you can just change the queries here if you want or you want to add some additional queries and then you can click on execute so the store procedure will be modified now because the store procedure has been created and now if you want to execute the store procedure then you need to execute it using the exec command so you need to write exec and then you can just paste the name of the store procedure dbo.sp underscore get employee data so if you execute this particular query then it will execute the store procedure so you can see that it returned 290 records and the store procedure has been executed so i think this is how you can create the basic store procedure in sql server and like if you want to drop the store procedure then you can write like drop proc and the store procedure name then this will drop the store procedure you can click on execute so the store procedure has been dropped and if you refresh the store procedure so the store procedure will be removed from here so this is how you can just create the store procedure and then you can drop the store procedure you can call the store procedure and if you want to modify it then you can instead of create you can write the alter query here so this will modify the store procedure so right now it is saying that invalid object name because the store procedure has already been deleted so that's why it is saying that the store procedure does not exist so first of all you need to create the store procedure and once the store procedure has been created then you can alter the store procedure okay so for example if I, now i will execute it then it will be run successfully so that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much